All right, this is Richie Cantardesi, and there's gonna be moments in your life where you're gonna feel stuck. There's gonna be moments in your life where you have something you're going after, you're trying to achieve, but you've hit a roadblock. You've tried everything, you've listened to everybody, things continuously are just not going in your direction, or you're doing well, things are going well, but you can't get to the next level. You are literally stuck. And so in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to get unstuck and channel that relentless attitude within you. All right, so first of all, when it comes to getting unstuck, the first thing, all right, so the first thing that you have to do is stop caring. All right, so what do I mean by stop caring? What, I, what do I mean by this is, is to not stop caring about what you're doing, what you're stuck doing, what you're trying to accomplish. No, stop caring what other people think about you. Who cares? Stop worrying about that. Stop worrying what people think about you. Stop being afraid to ask for help. So a lot of people, when they get stuck, is they allow their ego to get involved. You may be doing well. Things may be going well, but you're just kind of stuck. You're not able to get to the next level. You're not able to break through what it is that you're trying to accomplish. And what's happening is you're allowing your ego to get involved. And I did this in the beginning. I allowed my ego. So I spent two years, two years of my life wasted because I allowed my ego to get in the way. All right, so step number two is you gotta be creative. Gotta be creative. So what do I mean by you have to be creative. So I'll give you an example. In the speaking industry, is because I'm a speaker, right? I'll, it's so easy to say, man, you know, I'm getting stuck. I'm not booking the type of gigs that I wanna book. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to other speakers' websites and take a look at what they're doing, what they're looking like. And so a lot of people do this in whatever they're trying to achieve. They take a look at what other successful people are doing. And I think that's good. But there's also a place to be creative. And what I mean by that is to find a way to stand out. You have to stand out from whatever it is that you're trying to accomplish. Make yourself stand out. Don't always just do what everybody else does. Okay, so the third and final and most important is you have to find a mentor. Now, I just said, don't go and just follow what everyone else is doing. And that's true to an extent, right? So if we find a mentor and we're following a proven process, when I say find a, a mentor, somebody who's already done what you want to achieve at a high level, and you build a relationship with them or you provide them some sort of monetary value. And in return, they provide you with the information they use to achieve what they did. And then you do what they do. And in return, you will uh, essentially get the same resu results. So nature doesn't care. Nature, nature doesn't care who you are, your background, where you came from, mistakes you made, all the different things that you should have done but you didn't do. Nature doesn't care. The time you find the information and you get what you need to do and you do it, then you'll get the same results because nature doesn't care. Just remember that, okay? So when it comes to getting unstuck, stop caring. Don't let your ego get in the way. It's okay to ask for help. Be creative. Find a mentor, whether that's in your office, whether that's going online and finding someone who's done what you want to do and reaching out to many of them, as many as you can, asking for help. A lot of times they have programs and things that they can do to help you. 